So now we're almost done. We have our DNA molecule. We have our messenger RNA. We have a transfer RNA. Notice it's in, it's in groups of three. And we have an amino acid that can attach to it. Let's move it, attach it to the right spot here. OK, now what's going to happen is these two are going to attach. So let's kind of stop for a second and think about what's going on. Let's compare our DNA, our messenger RNA, and our DNA. So I'm going to move the transfer RNA out of the way for a second and actually go to this screen. So here's DNA. Quick little Here's guanine, cytosine, adenine, thymine. Look at the next one. Now, look at guanine, but you'll notice there's a difference. It's got ribose instead of deoxyribose. Same thing with the cytosine. It's ribose, adenine, but we have a different one. We have, for RNA, it's called uracil. Take a back, quick look back here. So, see where thymine, if I were to actually trade the places with these, so you'd see exactly. So this is the same four, and if you go to the next one, you'll see the same four except this one right here. Now remember, uracil will connect with adenine. If you have a DNA that's um, a thymine, it's gonna the RNA would still be adenine, but we can do DNA to DNA or DNA to RNA. So let's talk about this. So first, here's our DNA molecule. The messenger RNA, if we did it correctly, should be able to superimpose. I mentioned this in another video. So now what's going to happen is the messenger RNA is going to leave. So I'm going to take and go to the nucleus. That's why I just removed the DNA. So let's imagine we're leaving the nucleus is what I just should have said. So the, nu the nucleus is where the DNA was. So now you see no DNA because we're in the cytoplasm. Now imagine a ribosome that's going to happen. So if you've done your mo model correct, let's go to, we're now doing transparency, oh, uh, handout number 25. So if you see guanine, adenine, cytosine, uracil, cytosine, guanine, that is this molecule. We're still reading it top to bottom. It's upside down because back with DNA, the right side of the DNA molecule was upside down. Let's uh, adjust this a little, if you can see. So there's here's your DNA, here's your here's your DNA left and right, or what we call complementary strands. Now I'm going to take, look at this one right here, adenine. I'm going to take the messenger RNA and lay it right over here. And now you see DNA to, DNA would be adenine to thymine, but if it's DNA to RNA. There's the uracil, same shape, it bonds with the adenine. So this is a DNA to RNA model here. So that's one thing to see. See uracil, see thymine. So let's go ahead and uh, I'm going to adjust the camera. Put this back up here. All right, so this is your sequence. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take it and we're going to flip it upside down so it's just easier to move it around. So now we see we got our messenger RNA, but there's a problem. You got to be able to think three-dimensional with this, and this this is where a limitation of the of the geometric shapes come in. So in order to do this, you got to think in three different directions. Um, match the base pairs. All right. Well, those they don't match. Now, what if I come from this direction? They still don't match. Well, well, actually, this one does. It's a cytosine to a guanine. It's an adenine to a uracil. It's a cytosine to a guanine, so the only way the puzzle pieces are going to actually fit is like this. So just to jump ahead, this is what your final product should look like if you've done this activity correctly. And then I'm going to move it like this. Okay, so we have DNA, messenger RNA, transfer RNA, and this is the amino acid. And just for a video, I'm going to flip this over so you can actually see what the amino acid names are. Okay, if this little project is done, we made a DNA molecule and we made a messenger RNA. That messenger RNA should have been able to correctly superimpose over the right side. It leaves the nucleus, goes to the cytoplasm, where, imagine my hand being a big ribosome, and this is where your amino acid sequence is produced. So. 
This is our what we call our Investigation 24 and 25. My students will know that. If you're watching this on the web, you can re help yourself remind your review by thinking of DNA to DNA, DNA to RNA. That process is called transcription. And then when RNA, we call it messenger RNA and transfer RNA get together, it's called translation because the result is going to be a sequence of amino acids. So these are three letters, uh, three combinations, three combinations. Every three letters is called a codon. Every three letters of transfer RNA is called an anticodon, and of course, it carries the amino acid. So that's pretty much our the review of uh, DNA all the way to amino acids. What we want to learn next is what happens if I have the DNA sequence instead of cutting out models. How can I figure it out? I can do what's called transcription. I can write it out, and then I can use something called a codon chart to figure out the amino acids. That's going to be a next video.